Hi everyone, my name is Bonnie Goss and I'm the Head of Communications here at Scalic Automation. Today, I'm going to give you a primer on what the FDA expects from data integrity in the life sciences processes. Uh, this is going to be based off of the FDA's own guidance located on their website. Now, before I continue, I should clarify that I'm not a part of the FDA. This is based off of my own experience as a validation engineer within the life sciences. Let's begin. Data integrity has been a major concern for regulatory bodies and is very much a huge focus when auditors pay a visit. So it's not optional, though it's not necessarily common sense either. But once you know the basics, you can very easily extrapolate. Let's start from the beginning. You hear the term data integrity thrown around a lot, but what does it actually mean? For the purposes of the FDA's guidance, data integrity is defined as the completeness, consistency, and accuracy of data. We'll dive into an overview in a moment, but first I want to define a few more relevant terms. The first one is audit trail. An audit trail is a secure, computer-generated, time-stamped electronic record that allows for the reconstruction of the course of events relating to the creation, modification, or deletion of an electronic record. If I look at an audit trail, I should know who specifically performed the action that generated the record, what the record is, for example, a set point change from 37 to 36 degrees Celsius, when the record was generated, and what unit ops, say, a single-use bioreactor, the change occurred on. Many systems allow for the operator to leave a comment explaining the change, and that's our why. Another term is CGMP, which stands for Current Good Manufacturing Practice. GMP isn't optional either. It's baked into FDA regulations. The GMP regulations necessitate that manufacturers be proactive in their process to ensure that the products are safe and effective. These are not strictly defined. It's up to the manufacturer to define their process in a way that provably abides by CGMP. A CGMP process is protected from contamination, mix-ups, and errors. The last term I'll define before we move on is metadata. Metadata is the context required to understand data. That is, it's the data about your data. It may include engineering units, date and time of data creation or modification, stuff like that. So now that we have everything defined, let's talk about why data integrity should matter to you. One, your process data is required to adhere to the data integrity principles throughout the CGMP lifecycle, including in creation, modification, processing, maintenance, archival, retrieval, transmission, and disposition once the retention period ends. Two, auditors are extremely focused on data integrity right now, particularly because so many manufacturers have failed in upholding it. If you go through FDA warning letters freely available on their website, you'll see that there are many data integrity violations just all over them. And three, it's right in the name, integrity. We have a moral imperative as manufacturers to ensure that our products are safe and effective because they go into people's bodies. We directly affect people's lives and even hold those lives in our hands. It can be easy to get disconnected from the use case for our products, but it is ultimately for the patient. So data integrity. I covered what it is, so let's discuss its principles. ALCOA is the commonly used acronym that outlines the basics of data integrity. It stands for Attributable, Legible, Contemporaneous, Original, and Accurate. Attributable data can be traced to the unique user who generated the record. That means that every user must have a unique user ID that cannot be shared amongst the team. This also necessitates data security practices. Users must log out of systems when not using them. They must log into their unique IDs to make changes or otherwise affect the process. And all users who have access to the system must be trained in data integrity practices. Legible data is easily read and understood. That means that data is not obscured and is not recorded using cliches or other non-standard language. Anyone who looks at the data should be able to read it without difficulty. Contemporaneous data is recorded at the time of data generation. That means no backdating data, no pencil whipping. Late data entries must be clearly marked as late entries, and the values entered must have a solid source, such as historization. No guessing or assuming. Another requirement for contemporaneous data is one that's often overlooked. Your system clocks need to be maintained and standardized, ideally by an admin who isn't the admin of the system that's currently in use. That extra degree of separation is just another level of protection. Original data is the data record in its original or compatible with the original format. 
It cannot be recorded on scrap paper or in uncontrolled Excel files, for example. Instead, CGMP data must be recorded in controlled Excel sheets, paginated notebooks, controlled electronic workbooks, anything that has an audit trail and doesn't allow for data to be deleted without documentation and retention of the original data value. True copies are also acceptable as original data. True copies have been reviewed and certified to be a complete and accurate copy of the original data, usually by quality. Accurate data is free from errors and is gathered according to defined protocols. It must be reviewed and verified by someone other than the tester. Data that has been restored from an archive must be the same as the originally collected data and include all original metadata. Data must also have not been edited without documentation, and every edit that has been documented leaves the original entry visible. Beyond the original ALCOA, there are four more data integrity principles. We call this ALCOA Plus. The four additional principles are completeness, consistency, endurance, and availability. These complement the original five very well, so I'll just run through them very quickly. Complete data has all metadata intact and has an associated audit trail record. There are no deletions. Consistent data is recorded in chronological order. All date and timestamps in the audit trail occur in the expected sequence, and the times are consistent with the system clock. Enduring data may be read, retrieved, and reviewed for the entirety of the data's prescribed life cycle. That period of time will be defined in the by the manufacturer in the SOPs. Available data exists in complete form and is accessible for audit and review throughout the prescribed life cycle. So in review, data integrity is defined by the FDA as the completeness, consistency, and accuracy of data. The nine principles of data integrity, ALCOA Plus, require that data be attributable, legible, contemporaneous, original, accurate, complete, consistent, enduring, and available. So that's our primer on data integrity. Join me next time as I break down some frequently asked questions about data integrity as answered by the FDA in a Q&A that they released a few years ago. Remember to like and subscribe to Scale Automation so that you never miss a video, and I'll see you next time.